Hello everybody and welcome to our celebration of Mass this Saturday. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Anthony of Padua, known in Italy as Il Santo, the saint. He's a powerful intercessor. We turn to Saint Anthony when we've lost things and for all sorts of reasons. And he was a great preacher in his lifetime, an inspirational pastor and a wonderful Franciscan friar. So let us turn to the Lord now in simplicity of heart and ask him for the forgiveness that we need and the help we need to do better. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Leaving Mount Horeb, Elijah came on Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing behind a twelve yoke of oxen, he himself being with the twelfth. Elijah passed near to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left his oxen and ran after Elijah. Let me kiss my father and mother, then I will follow you, he said. Elijah answered, Go, go back. For have I done anything to you? Elisha turned away, took the pair of oxen and slaughtered them. He used the plough for cooking the oxen, then gave to his men who ate. He then rose and followed Elijah and became his servant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. You are my inheritance, O Lord. And so my heart rejoices, my soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. 
Jesus said to his disciples, You have learned how it was said to our ancestors, You must not break your oath, but must fulfill your oaths to the Lord. But I say this to you, Do not swear at all, either by heaven, since that is God's throne, or by the earth, since that is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, since that is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your own head either, since you cannot turn a single hair white or black. All you need say is yes, if you mean yes, no, if you mean no. Anything more than this comes from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the coronavirus that has claimed lives and affected so many people. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and the cause of this virus and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of doctors, nurses, medical staff, experts and all healthcare workers that they may minister to the sick with love, compassion and skill. We pray for all those who have died from COVID-19 and for their families and friends. May the Lord bring them to the glory of heaven. We pray for all who are ill from the virus, that the Lord may heal them soon through the ministry of others. We pray for all who work in any way at this time to help our society function, those who are involved with producing, selling and delivering food, those who keep our transport systems and utilities going, and all those in other frontline jobs. We pray for all who are struggling with isolation, loneliness, depression and financial problems, Give us all the grace to deepen our trust in you, O Lord, and so support each other in every way we can. Let us ask for the intercession of Our Lady. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Anthony of Padua, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offering placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Anthony of Padua, so that as you brought him glory, you may also, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Anthony you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. 
I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you, now and forever. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Anthony of Padua, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much to Jeff for providing today's reading and responsorial psalm. I hope you all have a very good Saturday and now we ask for God's blessing. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you now and remain with you forever. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>